some days I have the coolest job in the world. And that someday was just last week when I went to Hawaii with Toyota to check out the 2017 Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro. I'll be your host for this video, Tim Estradal of PickupTruckTalk.com. You can find us on iTunes, find us on Facebook, or click subscribe on this video you're watching. So let's get started talking about this trip and this truck. Incredibly, Toyota chartered a helicopter to fly us out to our testing grounds for the 2017 Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro. The choice was the 20 minute helicopter ride or the two and a half hour road to Hanai drive that, to the other side of the island. This ranch was impressive. It allowed us to test out many of the features of the 2017 Tacoma TRD Pro. It had some amazing views. And combined with the off-road prowess of the truck, it was just a fantastic day checking out the views, the truck, and getting a little dirty. Before we get to all the fun we had, let's take a listen to Toyota Tacoma Chief Engineer, Mike Swears. 400 pounds, but payload doesn't change. It's still at 1420. It's the same as the off-road package. And the main reason for that is 45% uh, of our customers go off-road. The pro customers tend to go off-road even a little bit more, but they, they basically tow a lot of different things. They've got dirt bikes, they've got sleds, they have these things and they want to use their truck as a truck plus a day as a daily driver so uh, i'll start with some of the suspension differences on here we have changed the the vehicle a little bit uh, we've uh, extended the track an inch front and rear uh, we've uh, increased wheel travel one inch and uh, if you look at approach angles we go from 32.5 that we have on the off-road package 36 degrees on this and break over we go to 26 degrees so again, it's uh, just giving a little bit more capability out of that uh, truck than you had before. Uh, cosmetically, to help with the 36, we have a quarter inch skid plate, aluminum skid plate under there, and we changed the skid plate a little bit. So one of the things we heard in the past when we put our quarter inch skid plate on the other trucks is that changing the oil and oil filter was not the most pleasant job. So we have a trap door in there now, a panel you can take off to add in that. So that's just listening to the voice of the customer a little bit. Uh, spring rates have been changed on the truck. Uh, the springs have been changed. In the front we have coil overs. In the rear uh, we've got our leaf spring set up. Uh, the big difference between this truck and our off-road package is we've changed our shocks. Uh, we've gone from our Bilsteins, our inch and a half Bilsteins that we use on the off-road, to a uh, two and a half inch Fox shock on there. And the Fox shock is Fox latest technology. And we went to Fox, not that we have a problem with Bilstein, we love Bilstein. But Fox was able to match the capabilities with their new technology that we weren't able to get uh, anywhere else. So this is Fox's latest shock. It's a, a position a sensitive dampening shock. And uh, what that means is uh, you have a nice soft, uh, basically, ride. This is softer than we have on our ORP. So you get on the road, it's good. When you're going up through here, you're going to feel it. The dampening is a lot less. But as you get into that shock, uh, the dampening increases. So that's giving, helping us with that, that high, high speed element in there. We have five compression zones and three rebound zones in the front. We have seven compression zones and four rebound zones in the rear. Uh, in the rear shock has a piggyback reservoir, this coil over in the front here. Some of the other things, uh, naturally you can understand that we went from an inch and a half to two and a half inch shock. Uh, we changed the piston. The piston is a floating piston in there. And uh, in that piston, we went from a 38 diameter to a 47 diameter. So making the shock obviously larger allowed us to have that in, uh, larger pistons in the, those shocks. We've changed the base valve in that, that to help with cavitation um, to make sure that we don't cavitate the oil leading to shock fades. And we also want an aluminum body on that shock to help dissipate heat. So uh, our Bilstein has a steel body, this has aluminum body. And again, it's getting the heat out of the shock to eliminate that shock fade. Uh, I talked about an inch more travel uh, underneath the truck and uh, you can get a shot, uh, a shot of that as well. We've changed our TRD uh, catback exhaust on there. So uh, when you start it up, you're going to notice that the sound's a little bit different, gives a little, us a little better flow. Up front, uh, just from a cosmetic area, we went back to the traditional on all our pros. We go to back for a historical uh, grill. We've got the Toyota front grill on there, hood scoop, blacked out headlights. And one of my favorite is we teamed up with Rigid Industries. If you're not familiar with Rigid, they're number one in off-road lighting. I love Rigid lighting. The guys uh, at Rigid are optics experts. And one of the requests I had to Rigid is I, I can't offer off-road light, off lighting. Um, 
Our government frowns on that because I can't control what the customer does with it. But we wanted to light out, and unfortunately can't see it today, but we wanted to light up uh, for, for night a lot more than we, we currently have capability with. So this has split optics in it. The lower part of the optics meets uh, the government requirements. That's SAE J583, that's a standard. There's a test afterwards, so you want to write that one down. <laughs> but uh, that is for uh, on-road lighting. That's your fog lamp that's out there. The upper portion shines down. And what that allowed us to do is light up more of an area. So uh, our normal fog lamp uh, lights up about eight meters by 12 meters uh, in, in front of the vehicle. This lamp will light up, uh, I have to think now, 15 meters by 20 meters. So you can imagine each one of these lights, and they're just little itty bitty LED lights, but you can imagine how much light you're getting out there and what it's putting out in front of you. So it's uh, teaming up with Rigid was great. Um, and this is optics that's uh, beyond what we have in, in our standard fog light or even our, our aftermarket fog light we put in there, the LEDs allow us to do it. Um, again, uh, we're running the Goodyear Wrangler tires on here with Kevlar walls. We have new wheels on it, uh, badging, it's cosmetic. And uh, as I said, you can get a shot in the back of the shocks and the springs have been changed. As well as that in the interior, uh, there's some cosmetic change in the interior. One of the things we did put in, in this truck is leather seating. Uh, that again came from a customer complaint. Uh, if you're off-roading, especially in mud, if you live in Michigan, you can understand the mud factor. We had customers complaining about the fabric is hard to clean. So the leather was put in there to make the, make the truck a little easier to wipe up after you're done mudding. And uh, different floor mats, shifter, and uh, today you'll get to, to go about looking at that. We uh, offer the same features in our in our off-road package so you still have crawl control, you still have multi-train select in here. Uh, we're running our V6 engine that we introduced last year. This truck, this red truck is only is a manual transmission so it's red so you can identify it if you want to drive the manual. The manual has a new six-speed gearbox in it as well that was introduced last year. If you are a manual driver and you haven't driven our six-speed please drive it because uh, I, it, it's phenomenal. I, I'm a manual transmission guy. Uh, it doesn't feel like a stick in a bucket of gravel. It's got a short throw on it. It's positive. You will know what gear you're in when you're going down through there. So again, the main focus of our truck is, is putting that mm -hmm. off-road uh, high-speed capability into it that we don't offer uh, on our off-road package. So really the suspension is uh, tuned for that. And when you get on the racetrack, you'll, you'll get a chance to feel that a little bit more. And like I said, it, it's uh, on road you're going to, I forgot about the stabilizer bar, but on road what you're going to feel is we I have a softer suspension. And softer suspension and a higher center of gravity uh, typically leads a little bit more body roll. You will experience a little bit more body roll. Um, and more body roll leads to more understeer. To help with that, we've increased the uh, front stabilizer bar from 28 to 30 on the truck as well. So uh, preventing that understeer phenomena that, that normally occurs when you go to an off-road package. So main focus, again, I can't emphasize enough, our philosophy is not giving up anything uh, for the, the drivability or the capability of the vehicle. So again, making sure understeer doesn't increase, making sure that uh, what you feel out there, uh, you're not sacrificing ride. So you're not gonna feel a lot of pitching, maybe that you felt in the, the past Tacoma Pro uh, we've worked on the pitching and working with Fox, working with our, our TRD Springs uh, really helped us get over some of those issues that maybe you've experienced in the other truck. Next, it was our turn to get a little dirty. I'm going to show you three videos I took of the off-road track on the side of the volcano there on the Maui side. The three videos I'm just going to piece together. It was pretty difficult with the size of the track to get everything on one video slide. I can tell you I learned a lot driving on this track, including using 4-low in a manner I've never used before. Typically with 4-low, I use it to really get out of something. If I'm really stuck, I go down to 4-low. What we learned was driving it around to get it the back end to kick out to have much better turns, we had to put in 4-low to disable the vehicle stability control and the ABS control. This was pivotal to getting around those corners and laying into the throttle the whole way. Uh, the one corner nearest the tent where I shot the video, I actually was doing upwards of 30, 40 miles per hour coming through that and just kind of slipping and sliding. And I got to tell you, it was a lot of fun.
up next we drove over to a rock strewn river what this is to resemble like crossing over a river on a ranch or off-roading what we're showing here and what we demonstrated with this trucks was the additional wheel travel it's one, in, one inch additional wheel travel in the front and rear uh, we do we we're working on the approach and departure angles and the breakover angles too on this crew er, crew cab or double cab whatever word you want to use for it we have 35 degrees approach angle 30 or 26 degrees departure angle and 39 degrees breakover angle on the access cab which is the extended cab you have 32 29 and 24 respectively what these angles allow you to do is clear more rocks and get in and out without scraping the bottom too badly what we're going to show here in a little bit is as we turn and go down this river and you can s river rocks you can see we have a spotter out in front of us what we're trying to do is we're trying to get stuck. <laughs> as amazing as that sounds, we're trying to get this buried in these rocks and to where the tires won't spin. And you'll see it right about here, I think we get totally stuck. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna going to, oh, oh, he was able to get over it. What we're, what we're gonna show here in a little bit is we're gonna get it stuck and put it in crawl control. And the crawl control, what that's gonna do is it's gonna use a variety of systems faster than the human can use them, such as uh, ABS brakes and the, th throttle input and it's going to work its way out of being stuck. As you can see we get set up here we get our angle set up we don't want to completely bottom out. You can see that back driver side tire you can see the articulation and how much room we have to, to spare there. Uh, also our two and a half inch shocks or Fox shocks are working hard to keep it all stable. Um, they do have an aluminum casing which allows them to dispense heat so they don't get too hot while we're off off-roading or overusing them. I can't recall if this journalist got stuck here or if he made it out. I ended up getting stuck twice. Um, I wasn't the best driver in the scenario but I, I did have to use crawl twice. If he doesn't use it we'll have a video going on later and we'll talk about how crawl works when we do some cinder blocks or cinder rock. Twenty seventeen to go to Tacoma TRD Pro. There's crawl control engaged. You can see the slope of the hill here. Forty one per cent degree decrease. Forty one degree de decrease. And there you have it. There is the downhill descent with the crawl control in 2017 Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro. As you have seen, the 2017 Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro is a lot of fun off-road. This vehicle, we put it through the paces on the off-road track, on the downhill 41-degree um, cinder rocks, and also the rock strewn trail. In all cases, it performed really well, and actually, I think its smaller size was a benefit to it. You know, this this isn't the 40 Raptor with the EcoBoost. It's not going to do zero to 60 in a blink of an eye. It doesn't have that speed out of that 3.5 liter V6, but its smaller size makes it a little bit more capable when you're doing some trails and doing some tighter driving. And it still has good enough get up and go. Um, I drove the automatic. I didn't drive the manual just because it's 5% take rate on the manual and. I'll get a chance to drive it later on. I spent most time in the automatic just letting the system, the truck do the work and just keeping my foot in the gas pedal and it did a great job. I, th My only caveat with the truck is I think this interior as you're seeing right here, I think it, it could be improved. I think there's definitely some places where Toyota could 
add a little bit more style to it, add a little bit more flavor to it. Um, it's probably my only uh, concern with the vehicle, but I think overall, mechanically, it's a very solid ride. And for pricing, for the 2017 TRT, Tacoma TRD Pro, you're going to start at 40760 for the manual and 42760 for the automatic, and that's going to be an adult in the uh, access cab. The double cab will increase your price a little bit. The color you saw in the video was cement, and we have Barcelona red, and we have super white. Uh, it's a limited vehicle. They're only going to build about 5,000 of them, and it should be in dealer, dealer showroom soon. And for more on pickup truck and SUV news, make sure you check out Pickup Truck Talk. Dot com. Make sure you check us out on iTunes on Pickup Truck Talk. And make sure you like us on Facebook on Pickup Truck Talk. And we'll see you down the road.